Hello everyone, and in this episode we're going to be looking at the floor function and actually dissecting what is a reasonably challenging problem. So what we're given is floor x plus 5 equals 5 floor x take 19, and we're asked to solve that. So I'm going to assume that you have basic knowledge of the floor function, or greatest integer function. If you don't, it may be just worth watching a um, couple of other videos just to get the hang of it, because this problem is reasonably challenging, and if you don't know what it is, you may struggle a little bit. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that if we have floor of x plus n, which obviously we have on the left-hand side, we can write that as floor x plus n, so we're separating out that constant there. So hence, our floor x plus 5 becomes floor x, and then plus 5. Um, so when we use this, we apply that to the left-hand side, and we find that floor x, then plus 5, is equal to 5 floor x, then take 19. So what we do is we rearrange, we bring that other floor x to the other side, and we take the 19 to the other side, and we find that 4 floor x is equal to 24. As a consequence, we divide both sides by 4, and we find that floor x is equal to 6. But what does this mean? Well, remember that the greatest integer function um, is essentially where we're looking at, when we round down numbers to nearest integer, it's going to be equal to that integer that we just rounded down to. So what we're really saying is that hence x are all numbers greater than or equal to 6. So of course, we can have x equals 6, but we can have x equals 6.1, for example, we can even have x equals 6.9, because we round down to the nearest integer with the greatest integer function. And what we get out of that is that x can be, um, what we essentially get this here, we get that 6 is less than or equal to x is less than 7. And when we write this in interval notation, we say, well, x belongs to um, an interval which is inclusive of 6, but um, does not include 7 as the upper limit. So it's somewhere between 6 as an exact number, an integer, all the way up to 6.999999999, etc, etc. Um, so that's basically the set of numbers which will suit that condition. So hopefully this video made sense. This is a reasonably challenging floor problem, um, or greatest integer value function um, problem. So I recommend if you need a little bit more of the theory, go check out another video. But thanks for watching. Hopefully it's helped.